Hi, in this video today, it is really sparked by me having a conversation with a patient who reached out to our clinic saying they did some light therapy with another clinic, whatever the filters might have been, and they did it for three weeks and the doctor said, eh, it's not making any change, let's go ahead and stop. Oh, by the way, they had a stroke and lost their vision. Let's talk about that. All right, before we do, I am going to tell you how you can connect with us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, that's okay. Go to our website, visionforlifeworks.com. You can read testimonies. You can uh, take a questionnaire. You can read over other information about what we do. You can also schedule a consultation. All right, so why is it an issue that the person had a stroke and lost their vision and the doctor that they work with wanted to try syntonics, but, uh, or what I actually call neurological light stimulating filters, because it's a little bit different than just light therapy. So why is it a problem if the doctor said, hey, let's try it, let's try it for three weeks. And if we don't see anything, we'll stop. Well, because three weeks literally does nothing. <laughs> so that's kind of a waste of time. So I'm gonna make a point of this because I'm gonna to prove to you it's a waste of time to only do it for three weeks. Nothing happens within the brain good enough to show any type of results of vision improvement in just three weeks. Okay, so our patients, we do require them to have a visual field test done every three to four months. The reason why is, is that that's a better clip of time to tell us if something is going to actually be changing or occurring within the brain. And here's why. This is the case of a patient. Um, the date on this one is from this year, which is April 18th, 2024. And I actually talked about this recently in another video, but this particular person, we've got right eye, left eye. They've had a homonymous hemianopsia, which means that the vision is lost completely on one side, which you can see here. It's all black on one side. That means the visual field is completely missing after the stroke. And so if we look at what happened three months later, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison as well. And this proves our point as to why you don't want to just sit around and only try syntonics or neurological light stimulating filters for three weeks because it won't do anything in that amount of time enough to make it measurable. This is an unusual patient because we actually see a change here within three months. The other test was April 18th. This test was July 17th, almost exactly three months to the date later. We do see some changes on the side of the homonymous hemianopsia. I'll point out this little section right here this little section right here and this spot here and here. So now let's go one step further. Now let's look at, okay, a couple months down the road because now we're in November and this was taken on November the 4th. And let's just show you what happened with November the 4th with that particular test once again. Okay, so this is a little bit challenging to see but bear with me as I do try, I don't know which is easier for you to see that, but you can see here that there is a significant change. There's areas of vision coming back here, here, all over the place there, there, there. You can see quite a bit of change, but we are talking about the span of several months. So this is not something that has, you know, from April to now in November, we're talking about four minus 11. We've got seven months of time into this. We're actually seeing some really good positive results. Nothing happens all that positive after three weeks. You barely are beginning to touch the surface of stimulating the brain to see if you can bring vision back. So, you know, maybe you were the one who's sitting out there and you're like, oh my gosh, this was me or it was my loved one that we started some sort of whatever with another office. They use red and green or blue and green or whatever. And we did it for like a month and the doctor quit because, you know, they said it wasn't doing anything. That's not long enough. Okay, a month won't do it. This is about a 14 to 16 month long program in order to really fully realize what we can get accomplished with bringing vision back during that time frame. And even at the end of 14 to 16 months, we tell our patients to continue to work on their vision. So even that long period of time, there will still be some vision improvement after that. And they can continue on even for the course of the next year to two or three years 
to continue to get some of their vision back if they continue to stimulate it. Once you start this process, we believe 14 to 16 months is the most accurate and appropriate time frame. Then once you begin that, you still have a period of time after that where vision can continue to come back. It becomes slower and more gradual, but it still happens. We do still have patients to this day contact our clinic six months, eight months, a year later and say, you know, here's my new visual field. Not not this one. Okay. But here's my new visual field. Look at what I've gained from the last time I sent this to you. And oh, by the way, here's the last time I sent it to you. And there's measurable, measurable progress that's being made. So if this is you, there is something that can still be done. If it's your loved one, there's something that still can be done. If we're talking about 10 years after the stroke, that's a little different. We can still talk, talk with you about that, but certainly within the first six months, to year is our best time frame. It's a, if it's longer than that, it gets a little bit more challenging, but we still can hope to recover some vision even a year later than that, like two years or maybe three years down the road. But it does get more challenging as the time goes by. But give us a call. 618-288-1489 if you're local. If you're not local, that's okay. Go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com. You can take a questionnaire. Again, you can look at success stories. We have a whole page dedicated specifically to stroke and vision loss but you can also just schedule a consultation. That's really your next step. And with that, I'm gonna say thanks for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done that already. But if you say, hey, this is not me, but my aunt Bessie is the one who had the stroke, well then please pass this video on to her because it really can be very life altering and help your uh, friend or loved one or someone that you know um, get back to doing things that they like to do, maybe like driving or working again or just everyday life function that helps them to do better around their house. With that again, thank you.